Well, we can say that uh, he's doing slightly better. We are quite optimistic, so we hope and we believe that he will fully recover. But it's still, uh, as you can imagine, it's still too early. Yesterday, he underwent the second surgery, so which was a minor one, but still uh, there was some need to do the second one. Uh, but he is recovering uh, in a positive way. Right, so let's hope uh, uh, it continues to be good news. Now, uh, you are part of Mr. Fito's party as well. I wonder if you could talk to us about how this has affected you personally and also within your party. Well, um, uh, I've been working with Mr. Fito for 20 years. So it's all my working life. I, I've been working uh, at the party at different positions, and, and since the beginning, I work with him personally. And uh, it's it's a huge shock, we can say, for us. It, it was extremely horrible situation. And imagine that we were just going to to the meeting, um, to the big public meeting, which we uh, should have had uh, two hours later. After what this this would happen, and we were on the way, and we suddenly heard the news. So. Um, it was a shock first. Uh, second, it was very emotional, what we can say. And uh, it's not only us, the people from the party, but also a general public is, is, is shocked. And uh, we are all, we don't know what to think about it still. What we know so far about the 71-year-old suspect um, is that it's believed it was a, a, what they call a lone wolf attack. Of course, all of this still needs to be investigated. What we know about Slovakia is that it's quite a sharply divided country politically. Do you see this attack as being linked to the very sharp divisions in your society? Uh, it definitely is very much connected because uh, the, the person, the attacker, um, uh, by the way, there was today uh, the, the court hearing uh, in order to keep him uh, behind the bars uh, until there is an investigation ongoing. Um, there is a special court which is dealing with this, the one which we have for the most serious crimes. So that was the very very fast first hearing uh, today. Um, but I don't have any information uh, coming out of this uh, so far. So um, uh, the guy was a lone wolf, what we think. But uh, uh, as himself, he said uh, quite shortly after the attack, it was his, uh, there was a clear political motivation uh, because he disagreed with the prime minister. He blamed him for... Um, the things which uh, he disagree with and uh, that he was receiving this information from the media so uh, very clearly it was political and it was because of this division of the society. Do you feel that within Slovakia and perhaps more broadly as I know that you're uh, on the uh, European Parliament as well do you think that the temperature is rising in politics across Europe? There are attack attacks on the politicians uh, and the society is boiling up, I would say, in whole Europe. But what we do, what we should do as the politicians is to take, uh, in a way, a responsibility to calm down the situation. In any democracy, then you can have the different opinion and you should have uh, a, a right for the different opinion is in our constitution. And it's something what we are as the Europe based on or what is one of our cornerstones stones, uh, well, as a society. So we, we should accept that there are different opinions on different topics and it should not lead to violent uh, proposals or to violent attacks. Mm.